One of the keys to being able to play your best golf is to make sure that your body is fully warmed up and fully activated so you can give yourself the best shot possible to shoot your lower scores. Now, one of the ways that I love to do this, not just with my golfers, but with all of my athletes that need to move and perform, is the squat warm up. A squat warm up is a series of exercises involving different types of squats that are going to help you get warmed up from the ground up, front to back, and side to side. It starts with a counterbalance squat. So I'm gonna get my feet as if I'm about driver width apart. I'm gonna turn sideways. So you can stand and get into a nice, comfortable, balanced position with your hands wider than shoulder width. You squat down by extending the stick out in front or the golf club, whatever you have, and then back to the top. Again, we're going down, back to the top. The goal is to get the hips just below the knees, keeping the knees wide, following the same direction as the feet. You're gonna get an activation once you get past knee level in the hips and the glutes, as well as the hamstrings. Now, the next one, overhead squat. So I'm gonna reach it overhead. The goal is to keep it over my head the entire time. And as I squat down, again, knees are just above the hips when I'm at the bottom. Okay? The goal is to get those hips just low enough so that I'm turning on those glutes, hamstrings, and hips. Okay? The third one is going to be what we call dynamic overhead squat. So I'm going to combine the counterbalance squat with an overhead squat. So the stick starts here. As soon as it comes up past my face, I'm dropping into that range of motion and then back. Squat and drop and then back. Making sure I'm keeping my heels engaged with the floor the entire time. That stick right up over top of my head. Next one is called a good morning. I'm gonna put the stick on the back of my shoulders. I'm gonna get my feet, instead of being shoulder width and driver width, I'm gonna bring them into hip width. Slight bending of the knees, very soft, and most of my movement is gonna come from my hip hinge. If you notice, my back is straight, my neck is straight, my knees are slightly bent, and I can feel an activation in both of my hamstrings. I'm gonna contract my hamstrings, Come to the top, squeeze my butt, squeeze my glutes, and squeeze my quads all together at the top, achieving that plank position. And down smooth, find the activation, boom, back to the top. Smooth, back to the top. And then finally, I'm gonna do a rotational squat. I'll face straight for this one. I'm going back to shoulder width, driver width. I'm gonna rotate down into the right side, keeping my head straight, and then coming up as if I'm getting into the finish of my golf swing. Again, down and up, starting with a good sequence. As I come up, then I'll repeat the same thing on the opposite side, down to the left. Even though you might not be a left-handed golfer, you gotta go to the left side. If you're not a right-handed golfer, you gotta go to the right side. Our goal is to make sure that number one, we can prepare the body fully to perform, from the ground up. The squat warm up gives us the best chance to do that and have an effective warm up that can translate directly to the range and ultimately to the tee.